Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So as you already know, the game had updated with the latest pet system. And now the pet can be caught or tamed easily with 100% catch rate. The difference is now the pet come with quality, B quality, a quality and S quality with higher quality pad have better start now I already experienced this in Korea server because in Korea server as I mentioned in my previous video the game is having this version of pad system so now the SEA server is and had adopted this system as well but this is the first time I catch the pad in SEA server after the update so let's see how it works first of all catching or timing pet you still need six pieces of the pet specific timing item but now you don't need the projectile bullet anymore if you still have it in your backpack you can actually convert it to zany how to convert it there is a convert npc just beside the timing pet npc in frontera you can convert the projectile bullet and also other things that i think had been removed its function with the update of the pet system letters version so you can explore that when you are in the game next let's catch some pets there is also a new function added with the new pet system with the new pet quality introduced players can also transfer the pet quality between the pet with the same name to activate or enable the transfer function you need to have at least two different qualities of pet otherwise the transfer function will not show up at the pet interactive option I'll show you later on in the video for now I only only have B quality pad for all of my pads that I have prior to the update. I happen to have enough pad timing item for the rocker pad, so let's try to catch a rocker pad. Now since you do not have to use the projectile bullet to catch the pad anymore, you can just deal damage to the pad with the slingshot. But to catch the pad, the process is still similar. First, you need to lower the pad HP or attack the pad at least 3 times. Then use the timing skill to catch the pad. Remember to equip the timing skill into the skill slot. That's a rocker pad caught on the first try. Let's try it on other pad. This time the pouring. That is a pouring pad caught at the first try as well, alright? Seems like the 100% pad catch rate is working well. Now let's get some higher quality pad. I only use the desert wolf and baby desert wolf pad in all situation in the game for the pad physical penetration and the fire enchantment aptitude. But all of my wolf pad, all of them is assigned B quality after the update. So let's try to get higher quality wolf. First baby desert wolf pad. Will it be hard to get at least a quality pad the first baby desert wolf is b quality let's try again for the next catch Oh, I don't know if it is easier to get a quality pad or I am just lucky. The second baby desert wolf pad is A quality and notice that the A quality pad have more stat. It is added with 12 points of stat. I still have enough timing item to catch for another 2 pads. So let's catch more and see if I can get S quality this time. The third one is B quality. Let's go for the final catch.
it is a B quality pad as well. Alright, that is alright. So when you have at least two different qualities of the same pad, now the option transfer will be visible at the pad interactive menu. For pad that do not have at least two different quality, the transfer option will not appear at the pad interactive menu. So here I have a level 44 baby desert wolf pad. My second best pad after the desert wolf pad in terms of overall aptitude. So I'm going to transfer the just called A quality pad to this pad. Firstly, select the higher quality pad, then choose the option transfer. And remember to undeploy the pad that you want the quality to be transferred first from the pad deploy list. Next, select the targeted pad. Oh, the transfer cost is not too costly. That's great. Knowing ROX, you would expect the worst. I guess the Korea server done a great job. So this is how you transfer the pad quality. For comparison, this is the B quality pad aptitude before the transfer. And this is after the transfer A quality pad. The pad aptitudes are increased. Now what are you going to do with the low quality pads that you caught? Surely you are not going to use this excessive pad, right? One thing you can do is to release the pad. Unfortunately, with the latest pad system, the newly caught pad does not give you anything when you release the pad. Unlike the previous version, you will get back some of the pad timing item. However, if you increase the pad level, you can then get back some of the pad timing item when you want to release it. So what do you think of the new pad system? It definitely releases some steam off from the players for this game. The game imposes too much pressure to the players with its game design. It needs more content like this to make this game easier and enjoyable to play. Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shoutout goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.